humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome back to some more Pikmin. In the previous part, I visited the Distant Spring, and I collected even more ship parts, and in this part, I hope to collect the remainder of them. Now, I think it said that there were four ship parts remaining, and I've never collected four ship parts in one day before, but hopefully I can do so based on the preparations that I've set up on the previous days. So I'm just gonna rock and roll on this day, because I've played this game before, I know where the ship parts are, and I think I've got a good setup to where I can just rush through and grab the remaining ship parts. So, first things first, I'm just gonna get out a bunch of blue Pikmin, just a bunch of them, okay? Watch this. I'm thinking like 70 or something, yeah, 71, sure, whatever, okay? So I'm gonna take all these blue Pikmin, and you might be wondering, Yo Schiller, why do you need so many blue Pikmin? Well, my questioning fan, I will, I will show you in just a moment. I don't need this many, but I'd rather take too many than too few. You know what I'm saying? Because if I take too few, then I just have to go back to the onion anyway and get more blue Pikmin out. So, here we go. I got blue Pikmin with me. It's great, isn't it? Okay, some of them got stuck. Oh, hey, 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 no. Guys, 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 guys. If I'm going to go for four ship parts today, I need you guys to be responsive. You're wasting my time. Ah! Okay, good, great, awesome, outstanding, amazing. Okay. So there is a, for starters, there's a ship part over here that can only be taken by Blue Pikmin because it requires uh, a trail over water. So there's a ship part over here that's not guarded by anything, it's just randomly sitting here. It is the pilot seat. Once I get this installed, my cockpit will be back in order. Soon, my ship will be starting to look more and more like the dolphin of old. Ah, the memories. So simple as that. Just take uh, 25 or more blue Pikmin to carry this back, and you should be good to go. Now, I'm not going to have all 25 of my Pikmin... I'm not going to have all 71 of my Pikmin carry this back. I only need 25 Pikmin to carry it. Okay. Even if I wanted to have all 71 of my Pikmin carry it back, I can't. Because I think at max, only 50 Pikmin can carry that thing. So here's what I'm going to do with the remaining... However many... Uh, 29 Pikmin are on there? Okay, whatever. Here's what I'm going to do with the remaining 42. I'm going to take out this little termite guy. Okay, make sure that he doesn't attack my Pikmin while they carry that ship part back. And I'm going to take out this Blowhog, okay? I don't necessarily have to do this. There's no ship part in this one, and in contrast to the previous part or two parts ago where one of the Blowhogs had a ship part in it. I just want to take it out because it'll make things way more convenient later because there is a ship part in this general area. It's just not inside the Blowhog. Also, I did not mean to zoom in. I don't know why the D-pad keeps doing that, but whatever. Okay, come on, you guys. Again, the Blowhog cannot hurt me, but he will blow my Pikmin all over the place, and I'll lose track of him. And if I defeat him, he'll drop pellets, and I can potentially take those pellets back to the Onion and sprout more Pikmin. So, it should be great. Oh, no, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Okay. Aim just wherever. I can't really see what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know why the D-pad freaks out every time I try to push down on it. There. Okay, Blowhog defeated. Convenience has been made. And there we go, dropping all those pellets. So, I don't need, those just, I don't need to carry those back just yet. I still need to take out more enemies. Here are some more water-based enemies. So I want to make sure I take these out because there's going to be a ship part over here that needs to be taken through the water. Hence why I brought blue Pikmin with me. So I want to take out these enemies before they attack my Pikmin while they carry the ship part back. So I don't want you guys to carry any of this stuff back either. Maybe if I have more time by the end of the day, you guys can do so. I don't think I will because I'm going for four ship parts today, but, you know, we'll see. Okay. So there's a ship part right there. Okay. I believe... Oh, hang on. We got the pilot seat back to the ship, so let's read this real quickly, and then I'll continue on with the other ship part I'm going for. I'm just making good progress today. This is the pilot seat. Picturing this in the cockpit, images of me lifting off into space begin to fill my taxed brain. It fills me with inspiration once again! Yes, I have now recovered 21 out of 30 parts. If I can find just 8 more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Sounds phenomenal, Captain Olimar. And you know what? We'll get three more today. I'm, I'm feeling good about this. So, I want to take my blue Pikmin and throw them up here. I can't throw them directly at the ship part because that ledge is just barely too high for the blue Pikmin to reach it. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw them over here. I'm going to take this. Not all the blue Pikmin have to land up here. It's okay. I have more than enough Pikmin to take care of this. Okay, some of them are falling off. That's okay. I think I only need 15 to carry this. Yeah. So, we'll get, we'll get at least 15 on it. I'll put more on there so they can carry it down more quickly. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and see what this is, and then I'll immediately move on to collecting a third ship part for this level. So this is the number two Ionium Jet. That's right, because I found the number one Ionium Jet back at the Forest Naval. It's easy on the eyes, and it's easy on the budget. <laughs> okay, so now you guys can carry this stuff, because I'm going to have to head back to the base and get other Pikmin out. So, uh, okay, I need some of you to help carry this stuff back. I only lost a couple of blue Pikmin so far. In fact, I've only lost one so far, but if I can sprout more than that, that would be awesome. Okay, and you can just carry that red pellet back. Whatever. Okay. 
So for the time being, the Pikmin that are carrying everything are taking the long way back. Not the most efficient way of doing things, but it is safe, because the short way back requires some other obstacles to be taken out first. And I'm going to take out those obstacles now, because the two remaining ship parts that I need to get on this level probably won't make it back to the ship in time if I don't take out these obstacles. So here, here's what I'm going to do, okay? I need yellow Pikmin, because yellow Pikmin can carry bomb rocks. And there's a stone wall near the beginning of this level that is still standing. I took it out slightly a couple days ago, maybe even yesterday, I don't know. And... I'm going to take the rest of it out now. So, I took out all these yellow Pikmin. I wanted to make sure that I had 100 Pikmin on the field so that when those other Pikmin finish carrying things back to the onions, the seeds will immediately go... Well, the seeds will straight will go straight into the onion. I won't have to pluck them or anything. But I'm taking these yellow Pikmin with me over here because there are bomb rocks over here. There are some bomb rocks in another part of the level, but there are more bomb rocks over here. And I think the bomb rocks that are in another part of the level are either too far away or they're not enough. Now, I need about six bomb rocks to take down the remainder of that stone wall. It takes nine bomb rocks total, but I think I threw three bomb rocks at it the other day. That's why part of it's already been knocked down. Okay, and then you take that one, and then we should be good. Okay, so I think all ten of my Pikmin here have bomb rocks. Yeah, so I only need six or nine total to take down the stone wall, but at the moment, I only need six. And with these extra bomb rocks, I'll use them to hopefully take out enemies of some sort. So, let's see. Okay, make sure that all my Pikmin are caught up and not getting stuck in water. Okay, so here we are. Those Pikmin are almost done with their trip. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw some Pikmin over here. Not all of them, just a couple because I don't want to waste any of these bomb rocks. So let's see. Okay, so yeah, it takes three bomb rocks per layer of the stone wall. So I need one more. Okay. Actually, I... Uh... All right, well, I wasted a couple of those, but that's okay. So you see this bull bear over here? I'm going to throw a bomb rock at him real quickly. I think it only does a third damage to him, but that'll make things easier later. Okay, now come back over here. Get far enough away so that he doesn't chase after me. Yeah, he won't go past that stone wall, I'm pretty sure. Okay, now you guys... Here's what we're going to do. Okay, I'm all out of bomb rocks, but I've done that somewhat intentionally. Okay, I could have just kept using bomb rocks to take out this bull bear, but this method will be easier. I'm going to try to rush him. And if it doesn't work, then I'll just throw a Pikmin onto him. But I want to take him... Ah, okay. There's a lot of things going on. Okay. Let's discuss the ship part first, because that just got taken back to the ship. So this is the number two Ionium jet. The ads for these jets boast that with excellent mileage that's easy on the family budget, this jet will keep your wife smiling and propel you to a happy home life. <laughs> ah, I love these. It sounds like... It really does sound like a commercial. <laughs> and that's what Olimar is concerned about. Well... It, well, it's easy on the budget, and it'll make my wife happy. Okay, so, uh, back to this. <laughs> this is why I wanted to take out the bull bear. I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any distractions while I took out the blowhog. This is kind of a jerkish placement of enemies, where they have a blowhog and a bull bear next to each other, because the blowhog won't hurt you. It'll just blow your Pikmin all over the place. And then your Pikmin will be unable to obey your commands, and then the bull bear will eat them. So I had to make sure that I take out both of these. That third bull bear shouldn't be hurting me. Also, I think my Pikmin got flown into the sky, and I don't know <laughs> where they landed. Oh, no, no, come on. Okay, guys, get out of there. Don't let the bull bear get you. Uh, one of them died. That's okay, that's okay. It's okay. Only one. <laughs> Still a shame that I couldn't get out with none, but that's fine. The better news is that all of my Pikmin are now available. So... All of my Pikmin have finished their return trip. I'm missing three Pikmin. They must they must have been knocked over here somewhere. Okay. So, uh, anyway. For the remainder of today, I only need yellow and blue Pikmin. Red Pikmin will help me with the fighting. Also, I don't know why that red pellet took so long to get knocked down. But, by the way. Okay. So, I only need blue and yellow Pikmin today. Okay, I'm going to take out this bull bear. Because, at this point now that I've taken out the bone wall. Take him out. Take him out. What's taking so long? Ah. Okay, well now I've lost even more Pikmin there. Huh, I don't know what was going on with that. Anyway, okay, so many different topics. I'm just trying to focus on one thing at a time. All right, you know what, guys? Uh, take some of these back. Because I lost more Pikmin now. I have to take out more. Okay. So as I've been trying to say, I only need blue and yellow Pikmin today. I need the blue Pikmin because they can go into the water, and I need the yellow Pikmin because they can access high areas. Okay, so so far you've seen me take back two ship parts today that both required... Blue Pikmin. But these next two require yellow Pikmin. They require it. And only one more needs blue Pikmin. So there's a pu the mini puzzle coming up that requires the use of both yellow and blue Pikmin. Okay, I'll get you guys to carry that back. Good? Okay. I just need to make sure that I... I, uh, I think the numbers are 20 and 20. So I think I need, I need to make sure that I have 20 yellow Pikmin and 20 blue Pikmin. 
Okay, so here's how I'm going to do things. For now, I'm going to dismiss you guys so I can split you guys up. This should be a good spot. And I'm going to be doing things that are slightly unintended, but it's still a feasible way of doing this. I'm not glitching anything. Here's what the game wants you to do. It wants you to throw blue Pikmin onto this higher platform and sprout yellow ones. And then you want to take the yellow ones and throw them onto that beach platform over there. And then you want to take the yellow Pikmin from there, throw them up onto a ledge to grab a ship part, knock down the ship part, and then have blue Pikmin take it from there. What I'm going to do instead is rather than doing the whole process of sprouting more Pikmin, I'm just going to throw the yellow Pikmin up there. I'm going to take the blue Pikmin over here. I'm going to meet the yellow Pikmin up here. And I'm just going to throw them over to the beach area from here. Okay? So, a slightly quicker way of doing things, probably not the quickest, I'm sure there might be some glitch that I don't know of. For the time being, I just need to make sure that I have at least 20 yellow Pikmin over here, and I do. In fact, if it's 25, well I have exactly 25, but I don't think it's 30, so here we go. Alright, we'll find out in just a moment. So throw the yellow Pikmin up here, because blue Pikmin won't reach. Yeah, it is only 20, cool. Okay, they'll bring it down, and then I'll need blue Pikmin to do the rest of the job. So this is the... Kronos Reactor. Using strange new technology, this machine is able to warp the space-time continuum and turn it into energy. I am constantly amazed at how many mysteries are locked inside the parts of my ship. Okay, so how come you can explain that, but you can't explain like half the other ship parts you have? You're just like, uh, I don't quite know what this does, but I think I paid too much for it. But you can easily explain that that warps the space-time continuum? That sounds complex by my standards. I mean, I'm no rocket scientist, but I... I I gotta imagine that those are some fancy terms you're using there, Olimar, even if it is just the phrase space-time continuum. Regardless, here's what I plan to do now. I'm gonna have a couple blue Pikmin carry that little enemy corpse back to sprout some more blue Pikmin, and then I'll have the remaining 23 blue Pikmin that I have carry this ship part back to the ship. And then the yellow Pikmin that I threw onto this ledge will help me get the final ship part that I need of this level. I think I can do this, guys. I think I can get four ship parts in one day. That will be awesome. Okay, so I'm going to throw you guys back onto land over here, and then I... Okay, I can't... I just want to make sure that they don't accidentally latch onto the ship part. I don't want them to carry that back. I want them to stay with me. So, here we go. I, and then I'm going to rush over here. Okay, stay away, guys. They've got it. No, don't, don't, no, well... Come on, come on. Okay. Hey, 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 you're not up, you're not up the job. Come on. Okay. Now, I could go for those pellets, and I'm tempted, but I really should get this fourth chip part first, because I might just barely be making it in terms of time, so. And I won't be able to get that ten pellet either. Darn it! Well, if I complete everything today, then I have no need to come back to this level ever again, and I won't be able to get those pellets. But if I don't complete everything today, well, then the pellets won't come back tomorrow. It's whatever. It's, you know, I don't need the pellets. I'm going to go for the ship part. So here's what I'm going to do. There's a ship part in this area. I'm going to throw all of my yellow Pikmin over to there. And I'm going to meet them over there. Now you might notice that these ledges are getting higher and higher. And this is exactly why I need yellow Pikmin, because that ship part is on the highest ledge. Now I don't think I can throw yellow Pikmin from here, so instead I'm going to have to throw them onto an even higher, uh, another ledge, which is even higher than this one, but isn't on the highest possible ledge. Okay, and then I'll have to meet my Pikmin there. And this is one way to get the ship part. I think what the developers intended was for you to like take your yellow Pikmin through this tiny ledge and then somehow make it so that they can land on that platform up there. But I just decided to throw my yellow Pikmin up here and meet them up here. So here we go. Now I just need to make sure I get at least 20 of you up here? 20 or 15? 15. Cool. I can barely see it, but that's definitely a one. Oh, 10! 10! Wow, okay. Oh, this is the... I found my UV lamp! The only problem with this handheld light is that it can be too bright at times. I have to remember to wear my sun visor whenever I look into it. Okay. Well, cool. Guys, I think I'm gonna do it. For the first time in this walkthrough, I'm getting four ship parts in one day. Now, I can actually focus on getting some of those pellets, so... I have five Pikmin with me. Uh, you know what? Let's take the bull bear body back. No, I don't want all of you guys to come with me. Well, how many are still there? Ten? Because I think I had 26 yellow Pikmin with me. Okay. So back to this ship part. I got this back to the ship. So let's see what Olimar has to say about it now. Kronos Reactor. This reactor changes permutations of the space-time continuum into pure energy. Basically, it's like a big rubber band. Okay. Cool. I have now recovered 23 out of 30 parts. If I can find just six more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Oh, man. Guys, that's already three ship parts in one day. Hopefully, I can get this last one because I don't want to have another... <sighs> I don't want to have another day where... I'm barely close to getting all of the remaining ship parts in one level, and then I have to spend one extra day just getting a ship part 
when it only takes me a minute to get it. And then, anyway. Okay, so I have five Pikmin here. Let's see if they can get this pellet back in time. Because I think when it says hurry up, I have about a minute remaining. So, let's see if I can do it. <gasps> Dude, are you kidding? Okay, fine. Don't take the yellow pellet. Take the... I don't know. Take the blue one. Okay, there. Just take that back. If I can sprout any more Pikmin, that'll be great. Yeah, I just gotta hurry. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I think the bull bear is also gonna barely just make it back. I mean, the ships... The, uh, the onions are right there, so... This should work. Okay? So... Oh, okay, so the final the final ship part of this level made it back. So guys, I finally got four ship parts in one day. I got all the ship parts at the, at the distant spring. This level's done, so that's awesome. UV lamp, this handy light, is great for tanning, but it doesn't seem to have any relation to the dolphin's flight capabilities. I doubt that it will affect my escape from this planet. Perhaps there are other parts like this as well. Oh, okay, so the UV lamp is one of the five ship parts in this game that you do not need if you're not going from 100% completion. But if you are, you need to get it. So I got it. Cool. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, uh, I don't know if they're gonna get the bull bear back in time. Let me just pluck whatever Pikmin are over here, because if I don't pluck them now, I'm never gonna be able to pluck them, because I'm not coming back here. Uh, okay, and those, pick those Pikmin carrying the pellet aren't gonna make it, so let me go and get them before they get stuck here. Guys, which route did you take? Okay, no, they're, they're taking this route, good. Okay, come here, guys. Come here. Okay, uh, did the other Pikmin get the bull bear back in time? I don't think they did. Oh, it's right under the onion! Oh, I don't think that counted! Are you kidding? They were right under the onion, the light started shining on it, I think the bull bear even started to lift out of their tiny little hands, but I don't think it counted. Ugh! If I threw one more Pikmin onto it, I could have done it, but I went for the pellet. Ugh. Ugh. I mean, I got four ship parts in one day, and that's awesome, but that's gonna bother me, knowing that I was so close to sprouting like 20 more Pikmin, and now I can't do it. Ugh. But okay. Focus on the positives. I left some Pikmin behind, too? Uh, how can I focus on the positives if I left Pikmin behind? That's like the worst thing I could do. I mean, I guess the worst thing I could do is get him killed in a battle, but when I leave him behind, I just feel worse about that. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, the Distant Spring is done. The Forest Naval is done. So all I can really do at this point is go back to the two first levels of this game where I couldn't collect everything because I needed blue Pikmin. So, hang on, I just recall the day I took my son for a ride in the spaceship. He was so happy. I shall tell him of this journey when I return. And I shall return! I must! Okay, so, all of my reminiscing about his son. That's okay. Alright, so I lost 32 Pikmin today, but I sprouted 48, so I sprouted more Pikmin than I lost. So that's good. And I know I'll be able to sprout more on these upcoming days, because I'm revisiting old areas. So, the two areas that I still have to revisit are the Forest of Hope and the Landing Site. There's a few reasons that I could visit one level over the other, but I think for the time being, I'm going to revisit the Forest of Hope next. Simply because there are more ship parts that I have to collect here, meaning there's more work that I have to do. So I may as well knock out this area next. And now that I have blue Pikmin, there shouldn't be any obstacle that I can't overcome. But for now, that wraps up this part of Pikmin, and I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all next time in the next part when I revisit the Forest of Hope, and see what else I can do now that I have blue Pikmin. Bye bye humans! Whoosh! Hey guys! Thank you so much for watching my video! If you enjoyed the video, then please consider checking out one of my other videos. On the screen right now, there are various videos and annotations. If you click on one, you'll be redirected to one of my other videos. I post new content every single day, so there's bound to be something that'll catch your interest. And hey! If you want to continue supporting me, then please subscribe to my channel so that you can stay up to date with all of my latest videos and announcements. It's free, and it really helps me out! Also, I have a Twitter account. I usually post announcements there, so if you want to know what my upcoming plans are, then I strongly advise that you check that out as well. Anyway, thank you for watching the video, and I hope to see you around in the future. Bye-bye, humans! Whoosh!